Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We are going to look at some of the extra functions and features of the Optimum 600 juicer. Now we all know that the 600 can juice. We all know that its big mouth makes it really easy to juice. It also makes it very easy to create a lot of other things. And what we're going to create in this particular video is a series of different delicious things that you can try at home. First of all, a not tuna salad or a not tuna pate. So I'm just going to show you how come this works in the 600 by pulling it apart just a little bit. You can see that we've got the big auger in here, which means it's easy to crush lots of things. But what we're using as we make this particular dish is a nice blank plate or a homogenizing plate, which makes us able to be able to put whole ingredients like these soaked nuts and sunflower seeds through the Optimum 600 juicer to get a beautiful pate-like texture. So let me pop it back together and then we'll start and I'll explain the recipe as I go so you can make it at home. Here you go. I just want you to take a note that you do not need to use the spinning basket when you're using the homogenizing plate. So this particular recipe just uses the blank plate, the auger in the bowl. Let me hook everything together, pop the lid on and lock it in place and we are ready to rock and roll. There we go. So I'm going to turn the juicer on, use a nice big spoon and just feed little by little the half a cup of soaked almonds and a half a cup of soaked sunflower seeds straight down the chute. Done, it's an important thing to note that there's a small plug underneath the juicer bowl that you normally push all the way in when you're juicing. When you're using this blender for its homogenizing function, you do not need to push that plug in at all. As a matter of fact, you can leave it out altogether. We want to open the way for all of that pulp to come through. And as you can see here, instead of juice coming out the juice chute and pulp coming out the pulp chute, we actually have all of the contents of the blender coming out the pulp chute. And that means we can use them in our recipe. So I'm just going to use the tamper here to push that last little bit down and into the juicer. If it doesn't go all the way through the way you like, you can actually add just a little bit of water to this recipe to flush it through. But for time's sake, I'm going to stop now. And we just break off the last of the pulp. And there is our one cup of pate style mixture, which we can put straight into our mixing bowl. Now all we need to do is add about a quarter of a cup of diced celery, which we did in advance. A quarter of a cup of diced red onion or green onion, if you like. You can pop that in there as well. Celery adds to the nice salty flavour and the onion's a bit pungent, so it's going to give us a nice strong taste through. We've got in here some minced parsley and you could also use minced dill, but what we've chosen to do today is actually use a little bit of basil instead. And if you uh, like this video, make sure that you like the Fruity TV channel so that you can come back and watch more and look in the description below for the exact ingredient amounts so that you can replicate this exactly. Now in here we have Himalayan rock salt. We also have a little bit of kelp powder which is a great nutrient for the body and a little bit of pepper. So that's our seasoning. That kelp powder is what's going to give this mixture its fishy taste for the not tuna pate or the not tuna salad. And all I need to do now is mix everything through really well with my spatula and I can serve it up. The easiest way to serve this, and it will last in the fridge up to seven days, but the easiest way to serve it is to grab yourself a tablespoon of some description and a couple of rounds of cucumber and then just tip it out on top of the cucumber rounds and there you go. Don't press it in too hard otherwise it won't come out. Ah, there we are. That's one. We're going to do three today and serve that up and that is a tasty, quick and easy dish that you can make with your Optimum 600 juicer. You can also make it into little balls and pop those balls in the dehydrator. So lots of different uses. You could sprinkle it over a salad. It's delicious, it's nutritious and you made it yourself at home. Here it is. Enjoy. Enjoy.